What's up? It's week four. We are Steady Streaming Cashios. I'm Zach. She's Colleen. This is the unnamed Argosy. <laughs> what we usually do, you know it. Let's go check out what happened. Lots of special things happened this week. So let's go see. And he obviously, but hey, good news is, there's no leaks. No leaks. Ta-da! Alright, tell me what kind of wood you're doing. Uh, this is just quarter inch birch. So, got quarter it on inch both birch sides. insulation and quarter inch birch. Why are you still hitting? Anything you want to say? Get out of my face. <laughs> Bring in daddy the tape measure. <laughs> How thoughtful of you. She's actually gonna help watch. Hey, it's right there. I need that right there. I need that. This? Yeah, I need that. Hey, thanks for coming in. That could have been bad. As you can see, I hit with the nail, and the nail didn't want to go through. That's because there's pecs running through there, and I put the um, little stud, uh, metal stud things, I don't know what they're called. They hammer in. But it looks like little metal pieces like that. Yeah, it's that like metal brackets. But that they you put on the like studs. Wood. But so you hammer it on, so that way when you come in with a screw or nail, it won't go through, and that way you have no busted pecs. Because that would have been tragic. Yep. These boys are constantly working. You just gotta check on check on them every now and then make sure they're not destroying stuff. So let's go see what they're doing. What you guys doing? We just made a new can of cookie paper because he broke his You messing with all this interior? Yeah, this is my house. finish just wanted to show you what I was doing so covered everything up I put quarter inch on everything first on each wall so that this FRP has a you know firm base so it wasn't just like it's FRP on studs so I did that I seamed sealed up every seam all the way around and then I put the FRP and I'm gonna come back with some polyurethane sealant and go and seal up every seam but just wanted to show you that's what I've been doing <sighs> So now that I have my FRP panels up with the little trim pieces, nice inside corner molding, um, got some polyurethane sealant inside that, and all the way 
down to there. Um, this will all be painted. But now I'm going to start on my shower pan. So what I did first is I just took a big 2x6, put it, and that's where my wall is going to be. You know, like my ledge piece um, to hold in the water, obviously. So just put this for now just so that I can, you know, start to get a, a feel. Um, I measured about how high, you know, you wanted uh, the drain, you know, you want it to flow, you know, the water drain into the tanks. So um, I think it needed to be a, at least an inch and seven eighths. So I figured I started out, you know, I'll put quarter inch on top of this then a uh, weedy board, um, which is quarter inch underlayment. It's really nice and uh, light. Um, so that's what I use here when I'm tiling. Um, and then obviously the tile and then things like that. And so I started with like an inch and an eighth. That's like an inch and a half, I think, and it just works its way down. So as you can see, everything is level, floor is level. Then when you go to that, obviously it's draining really good for me. So that's just what I'm going to continue to do. Just kind of space these all around so that it drains into the center right there. As you can see, the walls. Oh, you did do that this week, huh? I did do that this week. So put the quarter inch perch all in here. Still have to come in and do a little caulking, a little sanding, things like that. But your head, composting toilet, got all our walls. Now for the shower, if you want to look, we've got the FRP panels on the walls. They're riveted to a quarter inch uh, plywood. So we've got them on both. And what I've started to do here, as you can see, is start to lay out my, uh, my pan. And all of this will be vanity. So looks good. We also picked out the backsplash the tile but we'll show that like bathroom next not not this episode not this episode no. you have to wait till next episode <laughs> and we didn't get to paint this week no that's because we decided we're going to go ahead and build everything out and, and even if paint. we paint the cabinets a different color the insides will be white so it'll be real nice yeah. all right so as you can see your bed so what will be here is two drawers we'll pull those out but for now they're not made but as you can see, you've got your bed. If you want to look back here. All right, so this is a nice little cubby. So store things down in here, books, whatever you want to. This is access to your electrical panel. So you can flip your breakers on and off. I will grab the camera and show you. See that? There you go. So that's that. Just have to pull up here. Obviously the bed. And then we'll show you put these right back there so I don't lose them and then I do not have the struts yet but they're coming but as you can see look at all that space down there you've got your water heater seven gallon water heater it's electric off comes runs off of 110 so that's really nice it's don't throw stuff he did that don't throw stuff hey do you like Sandlot is that your favorite movie the beast is mean on the movie? No. Huh. Storage, so it's quite nice. Can't wait for those struts. So, like we said, we didn't paint because... <sighs> hey, Harvey, say stay steady. No. Say see you next time. No. Say see you later. No. Alligator. No. So like we said, we didn't get around to painting this week, but we're gonna eventually get there. But what we're gonna do, we, just, we decided what we're gonna do is just go ahead and build everything out, and then we'll paint, and then we'll determine what color we're doing the cabinets and things like that. But with that said, stay steady.